Hi, in this uh, video we want to introduce the software, it's really just an Excel spreadsheet with macros, um, that came with the textbook. It's cap cost is what it's called. There's a newer version, it really doesn't make much difference. Um, but basically we're going to work just today on the first sheet. We'll add in some of these other things as we get through the course. So for now, first thing we want to do is we want to put in the correct value for the CEPCI number. Now if we're doing this in today's dollars, that would be 574.4. But you can choose, I mean maybe you want to put this into 2006 dollars, okay? in which case that would have been a good choice. Now we're going to be working this problem here where we're going to be doing a cost comparison of these various shell and repeat exchangers. So this is going to do all of that complicated stuff we did in class. So we're going to start by clicking on Add Equipment, and it will bring up a form that we can fill in. So we want to choose our equipment type. And so this was a heat exchanger, changer, remember that we wanted a shell and tube type. So we need to choose a type. So shell and tube, notice it gives us more clues than the table in the back of the book did. We did it for a floating head. And now then, I can choose various materials of construction. So, if I do carbon steel inside and out, okay, and maximum operating pressure of one bar, uh, we'll say that's for both of those, and the heat transfer area, we went with 100 square meters, and we'll just say that this was a one shell. So if I say finish, we'll add that onto here. I can add equipment. So let's say that we were wanting to do a heat exchanger again, same type. But this time I want stainless, okay, inside and out. Um, still for the one bar and 100 square meters. It gives me this comparison here. Okay. So, if you'll recall, this equipment cost is what we got for the basic, not modified for materials, not modified for pressure, etc. Okay? <clears throat> this is after we've modified for pressure and materials. Now, we, this is for the one pressure. If I want to do the same thing for the high pressure units, so heat exchangers. Open steel, 100 bar, and 100 square meter. Oh, I thought I clicked on that. Okay, there we go. And so we have our comparison there. Oops, I see that I got the type on that one. I'll have to come in and fix that. Okay, now let me fix this one. So I'm going to edit. Okay, and... Oh, I'm editing the wrong one. The 103 is the one I want to edit. And then I'll have a next big start. And now then, I have these all the same types. And again, we see that the material of construction is much more important than the pressure. But the pressure does make a difference. And it's a lot easier to see, do the computations. Of course, we'll be doing exams, so we need to be able to do this with the exams. Now, I want to also show you, though, that this is going to be carried forward to these things. They've all been given numbers. They are part of Unit 100, so 
these are exchangers, the first, second, third, and fourth one within unit 100. Um, they're going to be carrying information through um, okay, to various things here. This is the data. We'll be able to see it in cash flow analysis eventually right now. This is just dummy information. Um, but anyway, so we will be learning to use more of this sheet as the semester moves it, progresses. But this is an easy way of calculating the equipment cost. Okay? Adjusted for time, adjusted for area, and adjusted for pressure. Okay? So if it com completes our material for Chapter 7. We will be testing over this next week, and we will be beginning Chapter 8 on Tuesday, September 16th.